Sheep Sorrel Roots in Essiac. Hi, I'm Michelle with the Essiac Circle of Friends, and today we're going to talk about how important sheep sorrel roots are in Essiac tea. Most commercial brands do not include sheep sorrel root. In our previous video entitled, What is Essiac? We revealed the documentation that verifies the authentic Essiac tea formula. This was the four herb formula that Ring Case had established after more than 50 years of research and experience with cancer patients. In that video, we mentioned that sheep sore roots were part of the Essiac tea formula. In this video, we reveal the documentation that proves that the roots of sheep sorrel are indeed a necessary ingredient of Essiac tea. What you see in this picture is the above ground portion of the small sheep sorrel plant. It is also called dog-eared sorrel because of the parts of the leaves where it joins the stem that look like dog ears. Here are two more examples of what sheep sorrel looks like before it begins to send up a flower stalk. But what you don't see here is what is growing in the ground. Here is what the whole plant looks like before it flowers. Generally speaking, the roots have a golden yellow color, especially when the roots are young and before they are dried. Occasionally, one can find roots as well as leaves with a reddish pigmentation. The leaves have a sour, lemony taste and are sometimes added to salads. However, the roots taste bitter when they are mature, dried, and powdered. Therefore, the roots and leaves have different medicinal properties. According to Essiac historian and herbalist Sheila Snow, a decoction of the root alone helps check stomach hemorrhage and blood coughed up from the lungs, clear up a jaundice condition as the liver is cleansed, and assists the expulsion of gravel from the bladder or kidneys. Externally, the decoction of the root has also healed acne, boils, and eczema when taken internally at the same time. As we mentioned in our What is Essiac? video, Green Case was very secretive about the herbs in Essiac tea. Sheila Snow was the Essiac researcher who discovered the documentation that sheep sorrel roots were a part of the Essiac tea formula. Sheila Snow obtained the letters between Ring Case and Dr. Chester Stock of the Sloan Kettering Institute for Cancer Research. The letters from Ring Case revealed, without any doubt, that the roots of the sheep sorrel were a necessary part of Essiac tea. Sheila Snow preserved these documents in her Essiac archive collection. Anyone can read this information and view some of the relevant letters between Reen and Dr. Stocks in Sheila Snow's book, Essiac, The Secrets of Reen Case's Herbal Pharmacy, and in The Essiac Book by Sheila Snow's co-author Molly Klein. The herb that will destroy a cancer, a malignant growth, is a dog-eared sheep sorrel, sometimes called sour grass. The entire plant must be used, picked in the spring before the seeds form, then dried and powdered. Dear Dr. Stock, I am worried about not receiving any reports on the test. I thought about the way the lab had been preparing the material for the test and why they were not getting better results. So I read over their preparation and found that they were only using the leaves and stems, leaving out the roots, which are very essential in the Essiac for treatments. The reason I offered to send you more material was because I know you cannot get the entire plant. You can buy the crushed leaves, but they are no good alone. I found this out when I needed so much. 
when treating three to 600 people afflicted with cancer every week for eight and a half years. I do know that the whole plant is needed. I am very shocked at the way your people are using the materials I sent you. They are just using leaves and stems, leaving out the roots. They are part of Essiac. Therefore, if there are no sheep sore roots in the tea, it is not Essiac. If it works, don't change it. We are very grateful that Sheila Snow obtained the letters from Reen Case to Dr. Chester Stock of Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. These letters reveal that sheep's oil roots are indeed very essential to the Essiac tea formula. Sheila Snow worked with Reen Case for three years from 1974 to 1977 with the intention of writing Reen's biography. During this time, Reen Case gave Sheila unique access to her papers and records. In 1977, Sheila made Essiac a household word by submitting an article about Reen Case and Essiac to the editor of Homemakers Magazine. The editor later published the article, Could Essiac Halt Cancer? Sheila became the official Essiac historian by creating the Sheila Snow Frazier Essiac Archive. In spite of all the disinformation about Essiac tea, Green Case's best friends Mary McPherson and Sheila Snow have provided the documentation that dispels the myths and reveals the truth about Essiac tea. Essiac, The Secret of Green Case's Herbal Pharmacy by Sheila Snow is one of the most important books that documents the true history of Green Case's herbal cancer remedy. In 2012, new information surfaced that once again verified that Ring Case's Essiac formula consisted of just four herbs. This new information also verified that sheep sore roots are an essential ingredient in Essiac tea. Learn this fascinating story by watching our video entitled Essiac Four Herb Tea Confirmed by Barbara Kokasis who was a friend of Reen Case and Mary McPherson. To learn more about sheep soil roots, be sure to watch our sheep soil roots growing and harvesting video. Check out our video channel and click on the links below to watch these videos. Also, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and share if you appreciate the information and subscribe to our video channel to view the newest video documentaries on Essiac Tea as they are released.